Okay, here we go. Charles Bukowski lived in the city limits of Los Angeles most of his life. He got brought here as an infant. 1923, by his German mother and G.I. dad. And same year Walt Disney showed up with $40 in his pocket. Same year the Hollywood Land sign went up. Generally speaking, you're free till you're about four years old. And then uh, five arrives. Then you go to grammar school, and then you start becoming demanded and solved and orientated and shoved into areas. You lose what individualism you have. If you have enough, of course, you retain some of it. A guy called John Fante. That was a man outside of, you know, Celine. Okay, I'm not going to talk too long. But this guy is a tough motherfucking guy who writes better than I do. Late 40s turned into the 50s. He returned to L.A. in his late 20s and went from apartment to apartment, woman to woman, job to job, and settled for the longest time into the post office. And that longest stretch, he worked at the terminal annex on Alameda. I mean, nowadays you can go up and you want to get a flat tire change. I can't do it. You can't do the engine. When I was living, Christ, anybody could do anything. When you went to a dentist, he'd solve you. When you went to anywhere. I'm just a good old kid from the stockyards, the railroad yards, and the post office. Down at Alameda Street, sticking letters into slots like this. Within 10 years, I'm published in Germany, Norway, France, Holland, Italy, England. What happened? I don't know, kid. I guess. I just wrote down the words the way they were meant to be. He held court at DeLong Prix longer than any other East Hollywood apartment, living there when he quit the post office, living there when he wrote the novel The Post Office, where the world started to come to him. The small universe of apartment and Shakey's Pizza down the street, Ned's Liquor, Listen, I'm the toughest guy in town, always. I am Humphrey Bogart. I start drinking before you people were born. I'll be drinking after I bury you. It's the 70s become the 80s. He becomes more famous. It's less eating at Shakey's Pizza and more eating at Musso and Frank. (laughs) 
You'd love to see me die. Just shoot my face. They escaped to San Pedro behind shrubbery and drove back and forth in a black BMW. Survived. <laughs> 